The coolant tank is probably overdue for a major cleaning, so I'm going to clean it out. I'm also going to investigate to see if by chance people have been putting in plain water rather than water mixed with the appropriate coolant, and that's why we're getting so much rust. I'm looking in the tank already, and it's filled with a lot of rust and debris. Here's what we look like in there, and I'm going to dump this out into a bucket and see if I can identify if there is actually any coolant in there. It looks like there's lots of rust and it really needs to be scrubbed out and cleaned out. Well, as I poured the water, it did not have any of the characteristic green color of coolant, and it looked pretty, pretty white. And that may be the cause of our rust. Someone may have been only putting straight water in. That's bad. Very bad. This is what our mixed coolant should look like. It should be this sort of green color. It shouldn't be any darker than that because then you've overused your coolant. And I'll talk about ratios in the training video. All right, we've done a major cleanup and getting most of that rust off. There's a lot of it really deep down into the cracks and crevices that I just can't get to. And fighting in here in the, in the troughs. If I work much harder at this, I'm going to start scraping off the finish, uh, the paint finish, and we don't want to do that. But the nice thing is the head moves freely, which is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to always move freely. And the vise is now moving properly. The spring was jammed, it was skipping, and it's probably because we often do uh, mostly one inch square tubing and not much bigger than that. So the vise doesn't get exercised in a great range. So we probably should, in maintenance, exercise it more and get some grease and lube there. Lube the uh, screw and make sure that spring that's back there is not gummed up with gunk. And obviously keep these non-painted parts nice and greased up according to the manufacturer's specs. I think it's uh, GL90 recommended gear oil is the recommended surface treatment for those. Much happier. So I'm not going to turn it on today. I got to clean up and attach the splash guards still, but we've got the coolant refilled with coolant this time, not just plain water. And I'll fire it up tomorrow. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with more technical theater content.